strategic management. We have several properties in the city of Wilkesburg. A um, couple issues. I kind of have the same challenge everyone else here. And I realize you guys are in a tough spot. Bad, but with bad time, I'll be bad. But, but unfortunately, a 31% tax increase is going to increase my company's overall cost on our properties by, by 10 20%. Mayor, you're, you're a landlord as well. You know this. That translates to, since landlords don't make a lot of profit, about 50 to $100 a month per unit, that's going to be a 50 to $100 tax or rent increase for all my tenants. So it's three things. One, kicks off the return of the tax. Two, will lower the value of my properties when tenants can't afford the rent and they leave and I have empty properties. And three, will lower the tax base of the city when these tenants take their business elsewhere, so to speak. And unfortunately, there, or fortunately, there is an opportunity here because there are a lot of vacant properties in the city. My company's had conversations with many departments in the city, with the administration as well. One simple change in the code would not eliminate this problem by any means, but would allow companies to invest in the city, rehab more properties more affordably. And that is to do what Evansville, Nanico, Pitts, and the other communities do. Allow whoever is in charge of the property to pull the permit. Allow whoever they would like to do the work. As long as it passes inspection, it's good. I understand the licensing in the city has heritage and has other things like that, but I can't seem to understand why a license, and I've hired licenses in the city, and I came this close to suing every single one of them. I invite any of you to take a look at the job that was done on my Barney Street property and see, see the quality work done by city license contractors. I don't understand why the work passes inspection and it's done properly for inspection, why it's not as good as other work. I don't understand why an individual like myself had to spend a thousand dollars for one time licenses to do work on a city on a, on a city property. It means we can't invest as much in the city as much. When my wife and I came here in 96, we first rented in the city. We built our first, first three properties in the city of Wilkesburg for, for the investors to work. We'd like to do a lot more here. It's difficult. These taxes make it more difficult. And the, the bonus to the city is more properties we have, more tax base. As we all saw during the Clinton era, you cut taxes, you get more business, you get more tax revenue to the bottom line. That's, I think, the challenge that you have. Driving every one of my properties, I've passed six abandoned buildings. Mr. Baruch down the other, other office of the city can't tell me who owns them or anything else about that. I'd love the city to become more proactive on that. I know a lot of it's county, a lot of it's black, you know, black magic, but hopefully the city can be a little more proactive. There. But like, there's two things. Please don't do this tax thing for every one of my tenants. Yeah, and Section 8 is going to cut their numbers. The HUD's going to cut their numbers. So great. They're going to lower their price. The city's going to raise their price. The landlord ain't going to pay my taxes anymore. More, more property will go into, <coughs> into the tax sale, which is where we purchase most of our properties. Um, the other point for, for you know, the, the, basically I see an opportunity here in that the difference of we put more properties on the tax roll, we get more revenue. <coughs> the other thing to look at, and I'm just scrolling back to my other point, is um, related to the same kind of rate. Quarter million dollars? Find a sponsor or don't pay those bills. If the people want, if the Irish, and I'm an Irish citizen, the Irish citizens want to think that's a safe way, give them permits. Great, go for it. Do whatever you want. That's kind of the extent of those kinds of things would be the first things I would cut. And the last point is when, after 2011, I worked for an aerospace, primarily aerospace advertising agency, and of course after 2011, all of our clients said, see you next year, um, the cuts went from the top down. 75% were the owners. And it went all the way down to if you made less than $30,000 a year, no tax. I strongly recommend the city consider something like that. Because thankfully, there are those of us who can eat without necessarily entirely getting from these parts of our jobs. Most of my tenants can't. I've got tenants who need to break up their security deposit to get into an apartment. When I tell that person, do I tell the elderly person, Gee, gee, sir, you can pay your pay four dollars a month, it's now fine. I know the apartment's the same as it was last year. I know everything's the same as it was last year. I need to know how to it. It's just not fair. I understand there's problems on the budget side, but I'm, I'm feeling because as, as a landlord, as many of you are, if I start seeing, if I start losing tenants, what do I do with my property? 31 increase in properties? 
Mr. Mayor, how much does a, a real estate agent with 31 increase in taxes reduce the value of the property? I don't know, Maria. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it, 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 and if you compare, or are you finished? Just get 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't want to, you know, this, this, you know, but basically my point, you know, it, you know I, I am curious if you have any listen last time, what, what does the 31% tax increase mean to the value of a property? Well, we're going to have a serious decision to make. If you compare us to other municipalities and take what they're paying as your municipality compared to what they're paying here in the city, without receiving the professional services we provide, full-time police, full-time fire, we're the only ones to do that here in the county, full-time DPW. With we do more in our city than other communities that pay an equal amount of tax. We may have to cut some of those services, and that's what council and administration are talking about. It's, it's, as Mr. Barrett said, and I said at my budget presentation, we have a government that we could afford years ago. We don't have that now. <laughs> and you know, for those that talked about, you know, I, I took a, a salary for you for the last six years. I've not increased my salary. I understand. So, you know, I, I explained yeah. my example. I did not take a single dollar in the marriage. And we're at the point now where we're, where we're going to cut. And you may see some major changes in some of the departments in the next 60 days. Major. And, and, and I wouldn't be surprised that I grew up in New England in the 80s. We're so doing more or less. less. It's just getting to the point now where our employees expect to make a certain wage, certain benefits. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to have to mm -hmm. cut some things out. And, you know, council will be involved with that. They have been with some meetings, but there's going to be some significant cuts if there's not going to be tax increase. And I said my public budget presentation, am I happy with this budget? Absolutely, unequivocally, no. However, it's a budget that will work. It's a budget that's there in case there are no changes. We will not run out of money as other communities have. Wolf's Ferry is no different. We're not an island. You know, we've held out for the last nine years. On an island, we have the capital estate, the bank, the national trust, the bank, the island, Scranton, the distress of 20 years, Bethlehem, locally of the Anico, the Plain County. So close. The other communities are in the same condition. And I've been comparing our property tax compared to other communities. But what we provide, we're almost equal with other people pay at home for the service that we provide here in the city. So we, can we reduce the taxes? Absolutely. But you may see. You, you, you would see major, major changes in the professional services that you see there. That other communities don't offer. Like free gas. Yeah. You know, dollars an hour in your buddies. And usually, coming from New England, you know, the suburb of Boston, if we have to be talks about this, I was still here. I think everybody's still But these are all small. These are our cities, they're okay. small. If we have to give up professional services to keep our people able to afford the apartments, what, we that's my challenge. And here's what you have here you have a city with a $45 million budget, $250 million balance sheet. Most of the people you may or may not know think it's going to be $40 million. The ringer, the receipts here. And we're rejected by the vote. sound. That they wish they voted for Betsy now. Thank you.